Well, I hope your week is going well. And we're starting a new section of the Gospel of John this Sunday when we move into John chapter 13. At the end of chapter 12, Jesus gave a final invitation to those who had been listening to his message or watching his miracles. And by God's grace, some believed, but many chose to reject him. And so now he's going to turn his attention to his disciples and help them to be prepared for the death, and burial, and, and resurrection of our Savior. And so we're going to move now into a very, very intimate setting in the Last Supper where Jesus washes the feet of his disciples. I would encourage you to read John chapter 13, verses 1 to 20. And I would encourage you to pay particular attention to the first three verses of the chapter because when we have a greater understanding of the context or the setting of what occurs, it just amazes us. It shows us how different Jesus was, how different Jesus is, and, and how different he wants us to be. Because when you think about all the ways that our Lord could have responded to the context, to the setting, and yet so many things he just ignored, so many things he let go because he wanted to focus on um, the important central message of humble servanthood and how that pointed to what he was willing to do on our behalf by dying for our sin. You know, our church for many, many years had the passion play down at Long Center. And though we changed it up from many different versions over the years, we, we always had the um, scene that depicted when Jesus Christ washed his disciples' feet. I would often, after I had done the introduction to the Passion Play and preparing to do the conclusion, I would often make my way up to the upper balcony in the Long Center and just watch that portion of the Passion Play. I, I always found it to be moving. And, and it didn't matter how many years I had seen it. There's just something about um, the, the sweet humility of our Savior that uh, makes me love him more, that makes me want to be more like him, that, that helps me see all the ways that I fall so short. So let's be praying that God would use John 13, 1 to 20 in our hearts and lives. It, it's really an important passage to set us up for the ministry opportunities that we're going to have this fall once school starts. So a really important study. I'm looking forward to seeing you there.